Hey everybody, welcome back to Review of the Nerds. I'm Vincent. And I'm Mike. And today we're going to be talking about a heavy blow to the Star Wars universe. Carrie Fisher has passed away. And we're going to be talking about her death, but more importantly, her life. Yeah. As probably most of you know, uh, earlier this week it was reported that she had suffered a heart attack and was in critical condition. Um, a cardiac arrest. It was reported that she was uh, stabilizing and like starting to get better. Not you know out of the woods yet, but uh, out of critical condition. So uh, you know we were all kind of hoping that she was going to pull out of it, but apparently there were some kind of complications, and uh, she unfortunately passed away. So. Uh, and it sucks because, like, the, you know, what everyone was saying was, ooh, close call. Yeah. You know, and we all were relieved that she was maybe going to be okay. So uh, I was, it's kind of weird because I almost prepared myself just in case, but I also didn't expect it. It was kind of like a mix of both. She was, uh, you know, an icon. Um, you know, and she's gone on to find fame outside of Star Wars. I mean, just as, like, a social media, uh, you know, public per persona. Um, just a very intelligent, witty, funny woman. Um you know, who had influences in the film industry that, you know, is not very publicized. Like, she was used as, like, a, a backup writer on a lot of projects, like, you know, pumping up dialogue, especially for female characters, like, uh, on a lot of different projects. And, of course, she wrote her uh, memoirs. Um, just recently, you know, she made some headlines because she announced that her and Harrison Ford had an affair. And she uh, was a very honest woman, and I think it's one of the things that you know, was refreshing about her in that celebrity, um, you know, arena, is that so many celebrities are so worried about PR and, you know, tiptoeing around things, she would just come out right and be like, yep, this is how I feel about it. Playing one of the most iconic uh, female characters in cinematic history, you know, Princess Leia Organa, and she really was fantastic in the role, not just because, you know, the character was well written, but because her performance because this was a character, especially, you know, during the late 70s or a time period where characters like that were few and far between, you know, the beautiful and yet very intelligent, very courageous, very powerful, you know, they can kick us just as much butt as the guys. Um, an inspiration to, you know, a lot of women growing up over the years, you know, this great character performed by a great actress. She, of course, as the years went by, started to fall out of things, really not getting a whole lot of roles and, uh, well, the uh, unfortunate reason for that is that she was battling her own personal demons. Uh, she had bipolar disorder, um, and she kind of fell into some drug abuse, um, which she has uh, chronicled in some of her memoirs and stuff, uh, you know, uh, cocaine and stuff like that, which is a good possibility those heavy years of drug abuse led somewhat to her health uh, in these later years here deteriorating. Yeah, and, uh, you know, but... Uh... In recent years, I want to say um, past five or eight, she started to rebuild, and you know a lot of respect there because you know battling, you know as she said, might had her demons, battling drug abuse, especially in Hollywood, not an easy thing to come back and be open about the trials and tribulations you've been through, and just also started you know getting more and more roles here and there in television and movies. You know she started to. Uh, uh, rebuild herself, you know, whether it was at, in the beginning of her career as Princess Leia, influencing tons of nerdy girls, or even now, later in her career, you know, influencing other new generation of Star Wars fans, a new generation of women, people going through mental health issues, the whole deal, you know, she, she's definitely not going to be forgotten, you know, I feel like people are going to talk about this for years, and you're going to be seeing tributes to her all over the place, you hard pressed not to have respect for this woman. Yeah, and you know she was still so young in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we've lost a lot of people too young this year. You know, starting with David Bowie and Alan Rickman, who both passed away in their sixties as yeah. well. Muhammad Ali, you know, he was you know he was a, you know another big icon that we lost this past year. Um, yeah, and of course recently George Michaels and Prince. And, you know, it's been yeah. it's been a rough year. Yeah, a rough year. Like so many like not just like celebrities, but iconic celebrities. You know, on all kinds of different fields, from music to sports to acting, you know. You know, there's tributes online from her Star Wars co-stars, you know, they're all grieving and stuff. Um, Harrison Ford had a nice, really nice uh, thing to say um, when he was asked about it. You know, it's clear that she uh, had a huge influence. Um, it's almost weird how you don't think about the kind of influence someone has until sometimes they're gone, and then you're just like, holy crap, I mean, that's... You know, something genuinely missing now. You know, and this is, of course, something that's going to be brought up with this, but I mean, where it is that they finished and completed her um, 
role in Star Wars Episode Eight. So she will appear in the next Star Wars film. Uh, it sounds like she did all the work that they needed for her to do. Um, so, you know, obviously this is going to impact the Episode Nine in some way. Uh, not sure what's going to happen there. Uh, I'm not a fan of the idea of them, like, doing a Grand Moff Tarkin thing with her and having her CGI the whole movie. I'm hoping they'll be more sensitive to her death right. than that. I mean, uh, I think that, that no matter what, they're going to have to probably do just a scene or two of it just to explain why her character's not a part of this uh, story anymore, because obviously she... It's Princess Leia. I mean, it's not like a, like a you know little character that you you know. It's not like it's a uh, freaking. Yeah, it's not Wedge Antilles, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is not a character that you can just have disappear. Um, so right. obviously, they gotta do something to explain why she's not there, and most likely, it's gonna involve Princess Leia dying. Yeah. Um, and obviously, what they're probably gonna do then is they're probably gonna transfer um, her storyline more, leaning on Luke Skywalker being the grounding thing in the Skywalker clan for Kylo Ren and stuff like that. But uh, originally, I think she was going to play a very big role in Kylo Ren's, uh, you know, arc, but it sounds like it's going to be more Luke Skywalker now. But anyways, that's, you know, yeah. Star Wars is not the important thing here, but this is just, sh you know, showing the the loss and the emptiness in the Star Wars universe that this is going to have. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, at least now, because, it, you know, she had completed all her work for Episode Eight. We do have that to look forward to in a sense that even though she's gone and, you know, a year from now, we're all going to get to have to enjoy her one last time. It's definitely going to be a dedication to her. It's going to be, you know, oh, yeah. at the end. Well, everyone just, you know, once again, it's a uh, sad day for Star Wars fans or just a sad day for fans of Carrie Fisher if you've come to uh, know her more for her work in recent years. So, uh, yeah, um... Thank you, Carrie Fisher, for all you've done over the years, whether it be in film, you know, and on the screen, behind the screen, you know, helping people with their mental health issues and by being honest with your own. Uh, just thank you very much for being you. I think it should be encouraged also for uh, people to check out her uh, book that's out right now. Um, I'm, I'm actually now curious to check it out. Uh, it's a big loss. <sighs> Bummer. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, uh... Catch you all next time.